Representative Henry Wayne Howard, Georgia House of Representatives, House District 124, and we're happy to bring you a legislative update on the first week and a half of the General Assembly that convened on January the 9th, and we are a week and a half in. Today is Thursday, January the 19th, and we just returned home from the appropriations meetings and budgeting process uh, in the first phase. So just want to give you an update on what's going on and what has taken place in Atlanta for the first week and a half. Uh, we started out last week on January the 9th with our first day where we elected all of the, uh, the officers, the Speaker of the House, Speaker Pro Tem, Clerk of uh, the House, and various other positions that we had to establish in order to do business. That was done on Monday. On Tuesday we went into uh, a meeting with the governor at the Georgia Chamber of Commerce's Eggs and Issues Breakfast, where the governor hinted at that breakfast that he was going to be making some substantial investments into the Augusta area. On uh, Wednesday at the State of the State in the House Chamber, uh, at the State of the State address where he addressed the uh, House and the Senate, he made it known that particular day that a $50 million investment into Augusta into a cyber security training center down on the riverfront at the old Golf and Gardens Hall of Fame. Uh, the state was going to invest into that property to build a six-story, 150,000 square feet uh, unit that would house the security training center for the southeast, one of the largest ones in the southeast. And that's as a result of the cybersecurity uh, command center at Fort Gordon that's taking place and as all of you know that cybersecurity across this country, as well as in the state, is something that has, become, has come to the forefront of what is needed to protect our interests and protect our personal uh, security items such as banking, uh, whether it's you're buying a house, all of the other things, IBMs, uh, flight tickets, all of these things, uh, the electrical, electrics companies, Georgia Power has to have a high security so it's going to be a big deal. So stay tuned for that. And we'll, the way that works is that uh, he's the governor's recommending that into the amended 2017 budget. The amended 2017 budget is a budget that he recommends as well as the 2018 budget that we've just finished talking about. Uh, uh, not finished, but we began the first level of conversation uh, debates oh, at the Appropriations Committee meetings this week. So at that, those meetings, that those budgets, those recommendations have to go through the committees, various committees, in the House first, and then it comes to the House floor. And we vote on it. And we vote to see, uh, to accept or recommend or make changes within what the governor's recommendations are. And once we completed our uh, assessment of that, we send it over to the Senate. The Senate does the same thing. and. It, if all of us agree, then it goes back to the governor for his final signature. I'll look forward to continuing this conversation and bringing more information to you as we move forward. But some good things happening, but at the same time, we've got to watch carefully to make sure we take care of some of the more important things, such as the poverty levels that are hitting in our homes, uh, hitting in our specific areas. Uh, jobs are doing well. We're doing fine with jobs, but some folks are not trained and ready for the new innovative jobs are coming. So we've got to get folk better trained to be prepared for these jobs. So stay tuned again, and I'm glad to bring this report to you, and look forward to seeing you again on the next round. Thank you.